welcome to another video. Today, I will be talking about my new seat post. I am super excited because I've been waiting for bike parts for so long. So this new seat post is for my new Live Devout gravel bike. When I got that bike, the intention was to do some upgrades, get lighter wheels, a lighter seat post, and a different crank set. I'm still waiting for the wheels. I already changed the crank set. Luckily, I found, I found one and I'll make a separate video on that. And I got my seat post today. This is the Giant Contact SLR DPU seat post. It is supposed to be lighter. It is supposed to have a little more flex and be more compliant. I am so excited to try this out. Today, we're going to put it on the scale and compare it to the stock seat post. We are also going to install it. I'm gonna get on the bike and I'm gonna tell you if I notice a significant difference right off the bat. All right, so let's weigh this seat post first. And once I remove this one, I'm gonna weigh that one too so we can compare them. At this point, I wanna thank Marquis Cycling for sponsoring today's video. They have provided the torque wrench that I will be using for the installation and removal of my old seat post. The Marquis bike torque wrench is super nice because it has this awesome ergonomic handle, so it fits really nice in your hand. And you can fasten and tighten bike parts correctly because it has uh, torque between four, five, and six uh, Newton meters. And, you know, sometimes we can uh, over tighten things, but this specific tool has a built in click out mechanism to prevent the over tightening, so you'll hear it click. Um, uh, once the torque exceeds uh, the torque setting. So I really like that about this because if you have really nice, you know, carbon or high-end bike parts, you don't want to over tighten. Also, it comes with uh, the most commonly used tools, three, four, and five Allen hex keys and a T25 Torx to cover most of the adjustments that you'll have to do on your bike. What I like about this torque wrench versus a ratchet style one is that if you're traveling with a bike box and you need to make adjustments to your bike, it is very easy to travel with it because it is very lightweight and compact. You can always throw it in your saddlebag or your back pocket. Always remember to measure your seat height before you remove your seat post and also measure it from the tip of your saddle to either the stem or the handlebars. Just have a reference point before you remove the seat post. So here's the old seat post and I'm going to put it up here. It is 290 grams and I'm just going to put the, the new one uh, so that you can see them side by side. This one is 195 grams, wow. Another nice feature of the new seat post is that it has a variable setback, so you can either go 15 or negative 5. So one thing that I noticed is that these bolts do not have any Loctite on them, so I'll be putting a dab of that before I throw the saddle on. Make sure you put some fiber grip on your seat post before installing. This will just help to add some friction and make sure that your seat post doesn't slide down as you're riding or when you hit a bump. Fiber grip is great to put on any carving components that are touching each other. You don't need too much, just run your finger down it and wipe any excess. Okay. You hear that sound? The grinding sound of the fiber. I just put the saddle on, I got everything measured and everything is nice and in place. Um, I just tightened it a little bit so that it wouldn't move, but now we're going to torque it down. So my bike is listed to have it torqued to a maximum of seven Newton meters. So we're going to, we're going to do it at six. So here's my awesome little torque wrench. I have it at six Newton meters and now let's tighten this baby up. And click it. Yeah. 
there you go it clicked so this little tool is super awesome because it has that click out mechanism which prevents you from over tightening your fancy carbon bike so as you can see i'm at six newton meters and if i try tightening tightening it more it'll click haha -ha! so there you have it we have it all tightened and now we're gonna go out there and check how this seat post works. Uh, thank you so much again, Marquee Cycling, for sponsoring today's video. If you're interested in this awesome little handy tool, I'll have a link in the description box below, so go check it out. Let's go. Well, should I get dressed first? Let's all get dressed. Now I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> I specifically chose a trail where I would ride through rough conditions. This this section of the trail is usually really hard and I make a ton of mistakes, but I felt like my performance was actually pretty good this time. I felt like I was absorbing all of the vibrations from the rougher sections, which gave me an overall higher level of comfort. Now, I'm not sure if it was a placebo effect or not because I did ride this same exact section the next day and it was terrible. I rode it freaking bad so maybe the fact that this was my first time riding this new lighter and higher end seat post gave me a sense of confidence that might have allowed me to ride this section really well i don't know but even joe told me dang you're riding this section really fast today which obviously didn't help because it gave me even more confidence to ride it faster and better so i guess i can't really tell you if this seat post is more compliant and overall better because i wrote it so differently from one day to the next what i can say with certainty is that this seat post has saved me 95 grams which i'm super happy about because i do climb a lot on this bike and saving all that extra weight is going to be amazing uh, and in my opinion this seat post looks so much cooler than the stock one so i guess i have a lighter and cooler looking seat post uh, but it would have been ideal to ride the seat posts back to back like I did on my gravel bike versus cycle cross video but <laughs> I did get in a little accident and it didn't I just didn't ride my bike for or this bike for like a week and the first ride after the crash was with the new seat post so again not ideal but that's what happened so I'll just have to get back to you in a few months and give you an updated review of it to recap, the Giant Contact SLR diffuse seat post is a lot lighter. In my opinion, it looks a lot nicer, but I can't say that it rides a lot better than the other one. I didn't see a significant difference, but I think I just have to write it a lot more. But if you do write this seat post, please let me know in the comment box down below what your thoughts are. I would love to know what you think of this seat post. And if you like these types of videos, always remember to subscribe comment like share it really helps the channel grow thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all on the next video bye